The next concept is reciprocal system of vectors. Let A, B, C be three non coplanar vectors. Then we define P equal to B cross C divided by B, Q equal to C cross A divided by V, and R equal to A cross B divided by V, where V is equal to triple scalar product of ABC, which is not zero. Then the two systems, ABC, first system, and PQR, the second, are said to be reciprocal systems of each other because they satisfy the following properties which are reciprocal in nature. First, A dot P equal to B dot Q equal to C dot R equal to 1. Second, A dot Q is equal to A dot R is equal to B dot P is equal to B dot R is equal to C dot P is equal to C dot Q each of them is equal to zero. Third, triple scalar product of PQR into triple scalar product of ABC is equal to one. If triple scalar product of PQR is equal to V dash, then V into V dash is equal to one. Or V dash is equal to one upon V, which also states the reciprocal nature of these two systems. And the fourth property is that A is equal to Q cross R divided by V dash, B is equal to R cross P divided by V dash, and C is equal to P cross Q divided by V dash. This also supplies the reciprocal nature of these two systems. The explanation of the above properties are as follows. First, A dot P is equal to, we can supply the value of P, that is A dot B cross C divided by V. Pull out 1 by V, we get A dot B cross C, which becomes triple scalar product of ABC. That's equal to 1, because ABC is also equal to V. Similarly, other three follow. Second, a dot Q is equal to A dot, the value of Q is C cross A divided by V, that is v 1 by V times triple scalar product of A, C and A, which is equal to 0, because triple scalar product vanishes if two of the three are identical, similarly others. Third, PQR, that is triple scalar product of PQR, that is equal to P dot Q cross R. Substituting the values of P, Q and R we get B cross C divided by V dot C cross A divided by V cross A cross B divided by V which is equal to 1 upon V cube into B cross C dot we expand this C cross A into A cross B cross product, that becomes B cross C times dot C cross A dot B into A minus C cross A dot A into B. Then the expansion of C cross A into A cross, cross A cross B. But C cross A dot A is the triple scalar product where two are identical becomes zero. And C cross A dot B becomes C A B, which is same as A B C becomes V. Therefore, it becomes 1 upon V cube into V cross C dot V into A minus 0 into B, which becomes V times B cross C dot A. And that's again equal to V. Therefore, 1 upon V cube times V into V becomes 1 upon V. That proves the result. Fourth, consider Q cross R divided by V dash. 
pull out v dash 1 by v dash out we get and substituting the values of q and r we get c cross a divided by v cross a cross b divided by v that is 1 upon v square into v dash into expanding c cross a cross a cross b as c cross a dot b into a minus c cross a dot a into b c cross a dot a becomes 0 and it becomes c cross a dot b becomes v again so it becomes 1 upon v square dot v dash into v into a minus 0 into b which becomes 1 upon v v dash into a vector v into v dash we have already proved is 1 therefore it becomes a vector that proves the result now we take up some application of vectors to geometry first if r is equal to xi plus yj plus zk is a vector represented by any line segment pq then x y z are direction ratios of pq second r cap becomes r vector divided by modulus of r that is xi plus yj plus zk divided by square root of x square plus y square plus z square then x upon square root of x square plus y square plus z square comma y upon square root of x square plus y square plus z square and z upon square root of x square plus y square plus z square are the direction cosines of pq vector thus components of a unit vector rep 